Uh, but I do think those two rolls will be huge, even with his, we're getting into this first game here, Ross, of day two. Round number 10, our two top seeds, Henry Chow at 9-0, and Noah at 8-0-1, still undefeated in the tournament as well. Noah's going to kick off this game number one, has led the Radiant Greninja, but it's currently being shut down by Henry's Fluttermane. Fortunately, though, Noah does have access to this Buddy Buddy Poffin. Yeah, you're going to get a couple of basics out with Buddy Buddy Poffin. Let's you grab two Pokemon basic that's 70 HP or less and go and pop them onto your bench. Great in these decks with these smaller evolving Pokemon. And then having a quick little look at the deck, trying to figure out what's prized, what's available. And yeah, that Fluttermane, we see it in Henry's list. I don't believe we do see it in Noah's list. No. So that could be something a little bit sneaky to start off with. It's not huge in this matchup, but right now it's actually costing Noah two extra cards on turn one. It could actually be quite handy just because the way Henry's built the list, where you're using two Monkey Dory and TM Devolution, we could even be using these two damage counters that we can place with Hex Hurl onto a number of Rolts and Curlier and Gardevoir just to set up a big Devolution play. So I actually think it's going to be pretty handy, not just because we led it here and might be blocking a concealed cards but Noah has the perfect start anyway double buddy buddy poffin oh nice <laughs> incredible start yeah that's what you're looking for get all those basics out we do see a manaphy mm. hit the bench here trying to make sure that bench damage isn't coming down of course scream tail can yep. be a very big deal it hits the bench it's a way to take out those curlier without having to muck around gusting without moving damage counters and monkey dory and you you know you said it right in the open here joe that is one of the things you're going for in a guard of one mirror hunt the curlier and if you're able to stop the scream tail that makes your opponent's job that much more difficult nice top deck for henry as well the arvin will unlock lock this hand somewhat as Henry will be able to do his first deck search and is likely also going to follow up with a Buddy Buddy Poffin from this. Yeah, Buddy Buddy Poffin turn one is just too gosh darn good at the moment. It's, it's not bad of VIP pass like we had in the previous year, but it's still a phenomenal card. If you're playing a bunch of Pokemon with 6, 70 HP or less, like your routes, like yep. your Manaphy, etc. It's just such a phenomenal turn one card. And as a little bonus, lets you search through your deck but we did see a bit of foreshadowing there from Henry and what he was having a look at. Ooh, looks like we'll be ending on that technical machine evolution here. Henry has the Psych Energy in hand, so he can immediately evolve up these Curlia into, oh, sorry, yeah, double Rolts into double Curlia. This is pretty much the ideal start. And bearing in mind, with two routes prized, you need to get your Curly going yeah. as fast as possible. So having them as Curly and not just routes, huge deal here. Now needs to start taking prizes to get the other routes out of the prizes, or this could end up going downhill. You do not want to be in a position where you're out of Curly. And no one doesn't know the others are prized yet. Right. But I think the next time there's Pokemon search, it's going to be given away. Noah going to also use the Arvin here. They too could be looking to TM Evolution this turn. I think there's one Curlier in the hand. It's unlikely that you can get Gardevoir out. I don't even think there's any rare candy in his deck list. So I think it will just be evolving up into a Curlier and having a response TM Evolution here. It shows that both of these archetypes are so setup based and reliant on that refinement. Yeah, you don't need big turn one KOs here. You need your Curlier out. You need to start drawing a bunch of cards and then working towards some of these attackers. And there are a lot of options in this deck with your Scream Tail, with your Drift Loom, which Noah plays we don't actually see from Henry, but with your Monkey Dory, with your Fluttermane that only Henry plays and Noah doesn't. There's a lot of different ways we can go here, but first things first, let's get set up. Let's get all the Curlier out. Let's draw a whole bunch of cards and go from there as we see an Earthen Vessel just getting a couple of Psychic Energy, of course, getting them in the discard early, important for Guard of War EX. Yeah, pretty handy. And Noah actually plays three copies of Super Odd, so not too painful to discard one early with Earthen Vessel. It's quite an untraditional count as we're going to be able to start using Refinement to pitch these Psychic Energy. So important to reuse these Energy via your Guard of War EX later down the line. But it looks like Noah's going to be content just holding on to the Unfair Stamp A spec for next turn whilst he is going to evolve his board and start getting lots of draw going on his own end. Yeah, having free Curlier to end the turn is always a nice handy bonus. We are now back over to Henry. Two Curlier sitting there ready to go. Because they were evolved at the end of his last turn, they can evolve into a Gardevoir EX this turn, yep. which there is one in hand. You want to use refinement first, but then you can evolve it up if that is where you want to go. So here goes the first refinement. Yeah, the only issue right now for Henry is lack of psychic energy. We want to use our refinement on Psychic in the best case scenario, so we can simply swing them on the board as soon as we evolve up into Gardevoir EX. So I imagine we'll just pitch, yeah, maybe, oh, getting rid of the Iono, that's surprising. The only supporter gonna get discarded. Oh no, it's being Iono played first here, so we're not gonna refine at all. 
We're going to try and draw back into a Guard of Light EX if he wants to launch any pressure here. Yeah, and that's what's... Oh, there's still no Psychic Energy in hand. That is rough. You can still refine anything away, but like we say, you want to get rid of Psychic as much as possible, really. And there's no real easy way to Guard of Light EX either. You've en ended up with a worse hand. Yeah. Oh, there's the Earthen Vessel, though. That might unlock some options for Henry at last. Does drop a Fluttermane into the discard. There's two in the deck. They are now both either out or discarded. It's not ideally what you want to do. I was actually already eyeing up the Darkness Energy for oh, yeah. Monkey Dory. Always. I know you're a big Monkey Dory fan, Joe. I am a huge Monkey Dory fan. Henry playing three copies of Darkness Energy in the list. That just shows how much we want to use this Monkey Dory throughout the game. It's actually more Darkness Energy in the list than Monkey Dory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to make sure you have access to those. And they can always be pitched with Greninja as well, if need be. Yes. So we do still have four draws here with the Concealed Cards, plus one more refinement to go. And we've finally drawn back into that Ultra Ball. We reset the deck with that Search of Earthen Vessel, and we have gone back into the Ultra Ball, so we can establish a Guard of Light EX and begin some pressure here. And we've got an Artisan, and I think I know what might <laughs> be being searched with the Artisan, Joe. Finally time, the Monkey Dory. This is the big upgrade that Guard of Light EX gains, as well as different A-spec options that both players are choosing to adapt with. But getting that early Monkey Dory, pressurizing with Adrenobrain, just gives so much to the deck. But because that's the only attachment, Henry had to either Hex Hurl, with a Guard of Light EX evolution and then manually attach the Darkness Energy, or you just bank the Monkey Dory for later and pass, and that's what Henry has opted for here. Yeah, it was so awkward with a, with a Psychic Energy in the hand before you could have just used Refinement, evolved into the Guard of Light that was in your hand, and then you're really rolling. Having to then use that Supporter and not getting into the Guard of Light EX again just makes everything so much more awkward from a sequencing point of view, but you have got your Curly, you have got your Monkey Dory with the Darkness Energy attached. You are still turning off Concealed Cards. It's not a terrible start for Henry, but it's not what you wanted. And now Noah's going through the multiple refinements. Oh, yeah. This is where you want to be. <laughs> We're drawing a lot of cards this turn. I think Noah is going to look to weave in this Screamtail by the looks of things. Henry without Manaphy on the board right now. And when your opponent's only got two Curly, it seems like such a great choice to start using Roaring Scream and removing those threats. With the retreat of the Radiant Greninja, we can fi now finally use Concealed Cards as well. But this is where both players are taking a quick look at discard piles. This is going to be a resourcey war for both of our players here, keeping in mind how many energy can be thrown around the board for other options, keeping in mind the Monkey Dory damage offsets that can be done at times. Lots of things to keep track of here. And Noah, of course, has to be aware that they've got a huge hand size right now, but going up in prizes, then unlocks a lot of defensive cards for Henry. Yeah, does no one know Henry doesn't play unfair stab? Oh, actually, here we go. Gardevoir evolves up. Two energy on the screen tail. That means you can hit 40 damage to the bench. There is no, uh, sorry, 80 damage yep. to the bench. There is no Manaphy in place, so that will take out one of the two Curlier. Bearing in mind, mm. routes is prized. Both the other routes are prized. This could be a big turning point in the game. This first KO with a screen tail, putting Henry down to one Curlier with no way of getting a Rouse without a super rod or a prize being taken, or a, I suppose, a in heavy ball, which right now in, in hand. Yeah, I think Henry might end up having to use an Arvin this turn just to guarantee that Hisuian, unless we're able to draw into it via the early refinement here. No, we yeah. aren't. So you may have to just not use Iono here, which would be a huge shame because you know Noah's hand size is ridiculous right now. But having to guarantee that Hisuian does seem just so valuable. As soon as you evolve up, you know that that Guard of Light EX could be knocked out with a combination of Monkey Dory on Noah's side of the field, plus a Drifloon coming out. And even with the board full right now, with Professor Churro, that's possible for Noah to work towards. And with a hand size like his, you know it could happen. So Henry is going to go for the Arvin here, and I think it has to be his Suian Heavy Ball, Ross. Yes, yeah, got to be a Suian Heavy Ball for a Ralph. You need to get another one established, because right now that Screamtail's running through you, and you are going to have to probably evolve up into Guard of War EX if you want to start attacking this turn. But the problem is, if you evolve up into Guard of War EX, you then have guaranteed no refinement next turn without a Ralph's hitting the bench. So the I'd draw power is hurting Henry right now. This is a minor thing, but I'd really prefer to take the Luxurious Cape over the TM Devolution. I don't want to show my opponent the TM. Yeah, I, I prefer this from Henry. Even if you have no intention of using Luxurious Cape for a long time, <laughs> don't show Noah that TM Devolution until the turn you're using it. Sorry, you still want to get that deck thinning, but we are going to use that Hisuian and grab a Rolts, and then we're going to Artan as well. So Henry will likely have their own Screamtail to attack with here if they want to. They could also just attack with the Flutter Main in the active spots. 
Obviously, there is a Manaphy on Noah's side of the field, so the Screamtail would just have to knock out the active as well. Henry having a quick uh, note take for the six prizes. Always an efficient way to do things when you have the heavy ball to help you out. Yeah, nice to know exactly what's in your prizes with no question whatsoever. Uh, there is a Manaphy in Henry's deck. We haven't seen it come out yet. But one of the things I think you just alluded to there, Joe, Henry's deck is very different. Yeah. So information, very, very important. Does Noah pl know that Henry doesn't play the unfair stat? They were probably close to each other on the top tables for parts right. of yesterday. But if you know you're not getting unfair stamped, you know the worst case scenario is an INO to five, you can play a little more aggressively knowing that the worst case scenario is a five card hand. We do see the Manaphy coming down here. Yep. So that is at least going to stop that Screamtail doing what it did last turn. Oh, how nice would that have been a turn ago? <laughs> would have been very handy. Looks like Henry will hex hurl this turn, though. I think there's only one Psychic Energy in the discard pile right now. Need him. Oh, counter catcher onto the only curlier. Oh, wow. Bringing the monkey Dory active and actually hitting for 60 plus confusion. <laughs> no, we're doing the Adrenal Brain as oh. well. So we're working with such low energy that Henry's having to attack with monkey Dory here in combination with the Adrenal Brain. We did hit for 60 plus yeah. confusion. But yes. also used the Drenner Drain to put it up right. to 18. The mind and bend. <laughs> it's one of the things that makes Gardevoir so great with Monkey Dory. You are damaging your own Pokemon when you accelerate energy with Gardevoir. Yep. And then Monkey Dory moves damage from your own Pokemon to your opponent. So you're accelerating energy with Gardevoir while putting damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, if you accelerate three times with Gardevoir and you've got two Monkey Dory down, yep. you can put all that damage onto your opponent. It doesn't seem terribly fair. The downside becomes an upside with Monkey Dory. That just really has boosted this Gardevoir EX archetype. And that's why we're seeing it on our top two tables right now and littering the top of the tournament in the NAIC here. Noah's going to re-establish another Ralts, as is going to be a constant factor for both players here, maintaining as much draw power as possible, as they're both going to continually take basically a prize a turn and try and throw hand disruption in while they can. And I think Noah is already considering an INO here. Yeah, quite possibly. Looking there, I mean, unfair stamp would be amazing, but there's an argument to save it for a little later in the game. Having said that, the only thing really for draw on Henry's side of the board is that Radiant Greninja, and that's only drawing an extra two cards. So I don't know if you've got access to unfair stamp, but this could be a fun turn for it, knowing your opponent just doesn't have much. There's no Curlier on the board. Noah taking a think, going to pay retreat. Are we attacking with Gardevoir EX here? I think we are, Joe. It's interesting because you are damaging yourself, so you can get in range of certain Pokemon. Especially, well, I feel like you still want to go through this Monkey Dory. You don't want to give your opponent the free Drenner uh, Brains. No. They are so dangerous. You don't six have any Monkey Dory of your own. The, no, not, not on board right now. That's why I like the Screamtail, honestly. I want Henry to knock it out for me. <laughs> But all, this, yeah, go on. I was going to say, it's all well and good having damage on your own side of the board, but if you don't actually have the Monkey Dory down, then it's just a downside. Yeah, Noah choosing not to play a supporter at all that turn, had the option of Boss's Orders or Iono, and went for none. We go over, over to Henry now, who is able to evolve up into another Curlier, which is a relief. Yeah, that's huge. There's also a, a board space open for the Monkey Dory, which was taken from prize cards, so it could be re-established here from Henry. We're starting to see some damage around the board as well. Definitely worth considering that there's a 60 damaged Gardevoir EX. Not sure that from this board it can get KO'd, just based on the way Henry's built his list. He's not playing Drifloon, which is pretty normal, I would say, in Gardevoir. Drifloon and Bravery Charm is just the combo that Noah chooses to play, not Henry. So typically, Henry's going to try and look to get around this Gardevoir EX and maybe just set up more damage or take a turn taking out Noah's other Curlier that's on the bench right now. That would be huge if you can take out that other Curlier because I mean, a lot of Gardevoir comes down to how much you're drawing. That's the whole point the deck is good. Because you've got Curlier and Greninja, there are times you can draw an extra eight, ten cards a turn compared to what your opponent's drawing. That's huge. So that's why in this matchup, go after the draw where mm. you can. It's not always possible. That Manaphy, honestly, is kind of annoying right now because <laughs> Screamtail is such a good way to take them out. Probably the reason why both players got the Manaphy down <laughs> early. Are we still lacking energy cards right now for Henry? Can we launch a Hex Hurl here? There's still only two Psychic in the discard pile. 
So we might be having to, well, yeah, we are retreating, going into the screen tail, and we're going to have to spend a counter catcher just so that we can Roaring Scream here. Henry is just lacking Love so this. many energy here. Still making the most of it, but it would have been awesome to be able to Hex Hurl. Then you could have banked an extra two counters on that Guard of Wire and set up the TM Devolution. But Henry just has really lacked these Psych Energy so far in this game. I still think this is a pretty good play. You're taking yeah. out the only Curlier. And sure, there's a Rouse down ready to evolve next turn, but you have to get that evolution in. You're evening up the prizes, you're making the mm. most of your counter catcher while you can, and you're also making sure that your opponent is going to have a rougher time drawing cards next turn. Does look like we're eyeing up a super on here. Yeah. No surprise. Monkey Dory, Darkness Energy, Rouse. Very easy decision. Sometimes a bit of agonizing over what to take with a super odd. Not this time. Henry going to level up those prizes with the Roaring Scream. Back over to Noah, promoting their own Scream Tail at this stage. Could just be to unlock that Psych Energy that's currently attached to it as well, of course, if you want to try and get tricky with a different attacking option. Noah still holding on to that boss's orders from a couple turns ago. Once again, it might be the best way to just continue taking out Curlier. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> keep mentioning that that is the best option to have, but it really is such an important thing to have in the list. The way I see it, Joe, we can keep mentioning taking out the Curlier as long as the players keep going out of their way to take out the Curlier. And they sure are. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> sure are doing it, Ross. Seems like the best thing to go for. And Screamtail, such an efficient attacker, taking out the Curlier. Two energy off of a Gardevoir, and you're right there in range. You're using very few resources to go and get that KO. So as long as you can gust around, why not? So you Ooh, can see all cards does hit unfair stamp. Yeah, and Super Odd also seems really valuable. You just want to keep churning these rolls and Curlier because they are continually getting targeted by both players here. You have Artisan to instantly access one of these rolls. And that's why we're seeing two come back into the mix. Yeah, and there is the Artisan immediately grabbing the Rolts. Now we're keeping that board space open right now. Will at some point have to spend time to use Monkey Dory to maybe push this yes. Guard Wire Reacts into range later? But for now, yeah. we're going for the Curlier KO plus the Unfair Stamp. This is Noah's choice of A spec. And it's coming in huge right now. This is what I wanted to see. I don't like unfair stamp while my opponent's got Curlier. I want unfair stamp to come down on a turn when my opponent is in trouble. They're going to have Greninja, because I'm not going after the Greninja right now. Right. But I want to make sure my opponent has zero Curlier on the field. I play unfair stamp, put him down to a two-card hand, and really make it super awkward for my opponent to be getting back into the game after this. And there's not even any rolls down, so it's not that there's going to be a Curlier next turn. Yep. It is literally just two cards. Cards, draw for turn, hopefully a concealed card, and that is going to be it. Yeah, Henry did draw into Psych Energy, so there is at least a little yes. bit of draw. But this is fantastic for Noah, who can continue to grow his hand size with another refinement from their Curlier. We can retreat and go into ooh, debating whether retreating is best here. Yeah, God of Ariat's coming back into the action. It's and we can just KO the Curlier easily here. Yeah, it just does a nice 190. It's not enough for a big EXs, but it's more than enough to try and get that Curlier down. So we do see Noah going up by one more prize, but it's not the prizes that make me like Noah's side here. It is the fact that you've got a Curlier and a Routes, and your opponent's got a two-card hand and no Curlier. Here comes an Artisan. Is there a Routes left in the deck? No. It's just a Monkey Dory, and that's the whole bench now. The bench is locked. There's no more space to put a Routes down. So there's not going to be any Curlier refinement for a couple of turns here. There could be some shenanigans afoot, though, Ross. We've drawn into the TM Devolution. Oh, I like this. We could possibly set up this Gardevoir EX. And in doing so, you're also picking up Noah's Curlier. And Noah doesn't play Rare Candy. So you could remove the option of Gardevoir EX for an entire turn from Henry here. If you Adrenobrain the active, you are buying a turn off of Psychic Embrace for the opponent. This could be huge. Yeah. Moving damage from the Flutter main here. It makes a lot of sense. I like this. You want damage on Screamtail, but you do not want damage on Flutter main. Now we see the retreat into Gardevoir EX. We're getting some damage on there as we're accelerating energy. We got TM Devolution, go. and this is going to be enough. There's 80 damage on the Gardevoir. Devolve it down. That KOs the Curlier. And yeah, fine, the Gardevoir's in hand. But that's not too bad because the other Curlier also goes to hand. Yeah, and that's with no huge. rare candy, like you said, you can evolve them back up to Curlier, but there's no energy on the board and there's no Guard of War EX. It is the different cards in the deck that we are seeing. The Unfair Stamp from Noah, the TMD Revolution from Henry, those are the cards that the players.
players are using to gain an advantage right now. Yeah, Henry levels up the prize race, but now knows that Noah can't do anything this turn. The most amount of damage he could deal is 30 from the Monkey Dory's <laughs> ability. And all Noah can really do is establish double curlier. That's the best case scenario. Henry did such great work from that low hand size from the unfair stamp. There could have been more explosive turns to use the TM devolution, but he still found a really cute spot to make it work. Yeah, and one of the things I'm looking at here, the, the whole point of ace bet is you get your big spike turn, right? Noah got the big turn with the ace bet. Yeah. Henry didn't. Henry wants to go three routes, turn two, boom, hyper aroma, free curlier. Yeah. You didn't get that. Henry's not getting the big ace bet turn this game. Noah's already had it, so you need to find your advantages elsewhere. TMD Evolution is working. Here comes the first revival, looking for that second curlier. Do we have it? Mm, do you see Ultra Ball in the hand? So Noah should have some options to find that second curlier. We also can bench an extra Ralts at this stage. Still no Monkey Dory. I suppose you could also attach to Screamtail manually this turn if you really wanted to. It feels like if you just preloaded one energy onto the Screamtail that you chose to retreat last turn, you could have still kept up with tempo here. But no one currently doesn't have the option. Is spying an Arvin in the hand right now. You can slap for 30 with Screamtail if you really want to. <laughs> that's slap true. Guard of our right across the face, get 30 damage. But that's it, that's all you're getting. You just give damage to, to Henry, though, with Monkey Dory. <laughs> That's just a that free slap's coming back at you. <laughs> yeah, if you're slapping yourself at that point. Yeah. Noah is going to find some discardables for this second Curlier. Wants to certainly continue this chain. We've mentioned it throughout this matchup. Of course, it's a mirror, so they both have similar strategies in which we're trying to remove the main draw engine from the opponent. Yeah, we do see two Curlier down now. The third routes, of course, came down this turn. Can't be evolved yet but is available there for next turn. There's a bit of a discussion going on at the table, trying to make sure... Oh, I think it might be damage was a bit incorrect on ah. the scream tail, but that has been fixed now, and we can just carry on with the game. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and what else can Noah achieve, really? He can draw a couple more cards. I think you turn attach somewhere. Screamtail's the only Pokemon that, where it makes sense, because if Henry does continue to take out these bench Pokemon instead, the engine Pokemon, means Noah doesn't have to put a two prize into play next turn. And that would be crucial for Noah to get back uh, in a favorable spot for the prizes. Yeah, I'm not sure I mean, how how easily are we going to be able to take out the bench Pokemon, though. I mean, do we do have a boss left for Henry? There's only one in the deck. Yeah, that's true. So I'm not sure how likely it's going to be. We do see the slap from Screamtail. So we'll see if that just gets thrown right back here. We see a... Re oh, so that was a concealed card. There will be no refinement here. Two Buddy Buddy Poffin in hands. Those cards are doing nothing. So we do have Monkey Dory that is available. We have Gardevoir that can attack. We got Screamtail that can attack. We could even attack with Fluttermane, or it's not going mm. to. You'd have to. You'd have to Adrenabrain onto the active to finish off the Screamtail, which could be awkward unless you want to not take the prizes now and keep yourself open to like counter catch plus deal with this Pokemon all in one turn. That's one of the most flexible things about the Monkey Dory. You're choosing when to take those prize cards. Yes. Are you just going to attack with the Guard of White EX here, perhaps? It feels like you want to get your multi prizes out of the line of fire. As we see Henry's A spec, going to be a little bit less explosive here. <laughs> just but a little bit. It's such a great option, especially when you're forced to go first in this deck. That's where I think the Hyper Roma is so powerful. Turn one, you try and find your Buddy Buddy Poffin. Turn two, you have your Arvin, which can then evolve into multiple Curlia. It's a fantastic option to have because then you get to proactively draw with all those Curlia rather than ending on a TM evolution. You're not able to use those refinements because that's going to end your turn. So Henry hedging for going first and second with this A spec and just making sure he draws cards in every game. Yeah, I love it. Well, no matter how it goes, I think it works very nicely indeed. We do have energy. Are we seeing an attack here? There's only two on the guard of for now. We would need a third. We definitely want to retreat. It's whether Henry wants to hex hurl and spend Adrenabrain on the active, I think is the debate here. And that is what's going to come into the active spot here, the flutter main. And one important point, without a Monkey Dory at the moment, and with no dam... Well, I suppose it's going to be damage from Gardevoir, isn't there? But with no Monkey Dory down right now, this doesn't give a guaranteed Monkey Dory KO onto the Fluttermane. It gives an easy Monkey Dory KO, but only if you actually get the Monkey Dory and the Darkness Energy, and then you would need Gardevoir to start accelerating some energy to start attacking. Henry is taking the damage off Gardevoir EX rather than the active Fluttermane. It's going to be threatening the Manaphy. 
You can also Hex Hurl and put two more damage counters on that Manaphy as well. I really like not taking a prize here, because if you keep your opponent bench locked, like right now, Monkey Dory would super easily KO yes. that Flutamane for a cheeky mid-turn KO. Yeah. Keep your opponent bench locked, they don't have that option, and then, you know, you, you can you can figure everything out as next, everything else out next turn. And it also keeps your counter catchers live as well, like you said, Ross, with just one boss's orders available. Having those additional outs seems pretty important. Yeah. It should be 130, yeah. Uh, yeah, 130, 10 away, thanks to the Bravery Charm. Love that. And, well, it means Screamtail's doing a huge chunk of damage, but there is a Manaphy right now. But if we could maybe bring the Guard of White EX into the active, could we get Funky with Roaring Scream? I mean, uh, okay. potentially, yeah. <laughs> but we've only got one boss in the deck, and it's yeah. already been used. Yeah, and this is why Henry wanted to not take a prize card. The Monkey Dory has made its way to the hand. Could we use Professor Churro to clean up this board a little bit and find space for it? And as well as the Monkey Dory not taking a prize means Noah's does not have access to Counter Catcher. Yes. And there are some of those in the list. So not taking a prize last turn, absolutely huge. Taking a prize could have meant KO on the Fluttermane, Counter Catcher on the Gardevoir, KO with Screamtail. <laughs> Let's go to game two. Yes. That's not where you want to be. Not taking a prize might have just won Henry the game. Well, looking in a much <laughs> safer position now. And again, it's testament to the flexibility of the God of our list he's constructed with the devolution, with Hex Hurl, even those two damage counters are proving very relevant here. And of course, the not just one copy, but two copies of the Monkey Dory coming in clutch right now. Oh, Noah's, I love that Monkey Dory. Noah's cycled through many cards at this stage with refinement, but what's that powerful? I still don't know what constructs a good turn here, to be honest. One of the things I think is important is Noah's gone for a more standard Gardevoir list. Henry's gone for the weirder list. Mm. When Henry's making this weirder list, one of his things he's thinking of is, I've got to beat the mirror. And you see the kind of things he's doing with Monkey Dory, with TM Devolution. It seems like Henry is better prepared for the mirror than Noah is with this weirder version of the list. That early game speed for Hyper Roma we didn't see, but that could also end up being big. Noah's had the better draw this game. There's been many more refinements on Noah's side than there has been for Henry, but Henry's been able to get these tricks working in a way that Noah's currently just not been able to. I think a big miss for Noah here was the Professor Churro as well. Yes. That would have been such a big swing here because it feels like Henry's getting in a really powerful position to end the game next turn. And Noah yeah, doesn't really have a great play here. You can take out the Fluttermane maybe with Gardevoir X, maybe just attacking with a Curly or something like that at this stage. Uh, you could even use Teleportation Burst if you really wanted to. But you just have so much damage scattered around multiple Pokemon now that Henry can start to pick off. I do feel like that is where Henry might be going with this, unfortunately. It is, um, yeah, it, it, Henry really seems to have set this up very nicely. The Manaphy is a Monkey Dory away from being KO'd. The Screamtail is a Monkey Dory away from being KO'd. And there's only three prizes remaining. Is there any chance we get double Monkey Dory next turn from Henry? Ooh, nice Bravery Charm from Noah there. That's a good call. Yep. No, no, no. Catch no, 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 not no, 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 don't do that. So the turn's not quite as good. Henry knows straight away because he was actively avoiding this play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the speed at which Henry was like, nope. Shows that that is exactly like, like, no, the whole point of this last is why turn. I've, yeah, this is why I've done this. Oh, oh, good catch there. It's always it's always more fun when we can catch them before it happens so we don't have any awkward situations to resolve. It will still be a low hand size now for Henry. Noah really doing this just to disrupt his opponent's hand rather than gain any more cards at this stage. Yeah, we got Boss, Turo, and the Cape. That's what we've got in Henry's hand. So not amazing, although... You would be able to Turo the Monkey Dory, replay it, and use it a second time. I'm just saying, you could use that Monkey Dory twice with Turo. Well, Boss Luxurious Cape might be the way to win with Screamtail next turn. We could Monkey Dory finish off the Screamtail that Noah has in the active position right now, and he could take all three prizes if we had enough psychic energy for Henry's own Screamtail here. Absolutely, taking out the Gardevoir. Of course, Double Monkey Dory is much less fun <laughs> with the Bravery Charm on the Mana Feet. I just want to yeah. see a Double Monkey, all right, Joe? We all want to see it, Ross. <laughs> Trust me, we want to see a Dreader Brains in action. Yeah, but I, I do also see the Bravery Charm. That was a really good play by Noah, turning off that play. And I think you're right, that could actually be a stunning pair of cards drawn by Henry off the Iono here. It's so we do slap. just see a slap. <laughs> slap to the Flutter Main right off the board. And now we see Screamtail coming active. And if there's enough energy, all we need... Psych energy's big here. We can conceal cards another one away. That might be enough, you know. 
Henry has lacked some energy for a while, but three have just hit the discard pile. Henry's starting to do that two times table with Roaring Scream. Can you reach on Gardevoir X at this stage? You need 16. You need 16 damage counters, which means eight energy, if I'm reading that correctly. A second Monkey Dory might help. You have two counters on your Gardevoir EX as well that could be helpful, pushing you a little closer. If we draw into Darkness Energy as well, they then become live from this big concealed cards here. The other option this turn, oh, you can't really make a play where you churro up your Gardevoir EX. It becomes dangerous. You don't really have enough threats to close out the game. We didn't get much help from those two cards. The way Henry's playing, it feels like we don't have enough Psychic Energy in the discard pile to make the boss's orders Luxurious Cape, Roaring Scream, KO, Gardevoir EX play. I you could see one more card by taking the prize with Monkey Dory now. That does then open up your opponent's bench, but then that's not actually that's less relevant this turn because the Monkey Dory isn't really... I think it's eight, isn't it? Eight energy. Yeah. And there's only four damage counters on the screen tail right now, and I think we can only put our way up to 12 damage onto the screen tail currently, and that's not enough. But we do have the cape, do we not? We have the cape, so the hit points is fine. It's just you can't, you don't have enough psych energy to embrace. No. That's our big issue here. <laughs> Henry's just missed psych energy so often this game. <laughs> it's been such a slow development, partly because of those prized rolls, of course. But now Henry might have to make a bit of a wonkier play. We might be using Mind Bend again with a Monkey Dory perhaps here. Oh wow, damaging our Guard of War EX. Does that mean we're gonna use Adrenobrain then? Okay, so we're gonna damage the Mana Feet and set up double Monkey Dory next turn. And we got Boss oh, in that. the slap for the KO. So the Guard of War EX is in play. That opens the door for Noah to take the last two prizes on Henry's Gardevoir Rex now. Countercatcher is not live though, and he's used his only boss's yeah. orders, and I don't believe there's a power pad. Yeah. And there's a mana fee on the bench, so I don't know that he can go after the Gardevoir. Yeah. Unless I'm missing some in here. Henry doesn't know that, but it does feel like he is pretty safe. Just based on how Noah's list is built. Power pad is fairly routine in Gardevoir, not always in the deck list, of course. It's and Noah isn't choosing list. to play it. No power pad, boss has been used, counter catcher isn't live. Obviously, you're playing unfair stamp over a prime catcher. And next turn, Henry's in good position. He's got boss in hand, ready to go. He's got double monkey dory potential here yeah. to KO the Manaphy even through the bravery charm. So it should be doable next turn. You don't even need to KO the Gardevoir. No, but I think Noah will churro this Manaphy. Yes or at least try and Monkey Dory heal some of that damage, make it more difficult. If you don't Churro, you could still Iron O, I suppose, as well. Gonna see a Hisu and Heavy Ball for Noah, just thinning it from the hand. Energy and uh, Vessel are the last couple prizes for Noah. They're just gonna get a quick shuffle. There is Darkness Energy in hand, so we can Adrenobrain from Noah's side of the field here. Okay, that was a big one. Having that Darkness Energy, being able to activate that ability makes a very big difference. It's not even necessarily the damage going over, but healing up that mana fee. He's got, what, 120 at the moment, so... Yeah, healing it off one to put it down to 50, so double monkey would only put it up to 110, and it would be safe from a double Adrenobrain. Quick refinement from Noah. Not sure what they're digging for at this stage. It's just the debate. It is going to be the Professor Churro. That feels like the safest choice. You still can Adrenobrain anything you power up. Maybe we're attacking with Mind Bend here just to finish off the screen tail as Noah goes down to one prize. And I like this. Going down to one prize means that you are pretty safe next turn. It doesn't matter what you, you know, anything will go down. You can KO what you like. Next turn feels like Noah's basically saying, look, I'm not going to win this turn. I don't have to gusting on your guard of Wari X. Fine. I will be winning next turn. Also important to note, without the 16 minutes remaining, this first game has been long. <laughs> so that means the winner of this first game could be the winner of the series, and it's coming down to it. Here comes the KO on screen tell then. Let's see, can Henry close out this turn with some Monkey Dory shenanigans? Or can we reach on this Guard of our EX with the luxurious cape plus boss's orders combo that we've just missed out on last turn? There's no more draw in this hand. Henry did not draw energy. That would have been the absolute best case scenario. Henry has a lot of cards, but they're not all that helpful right now, Ross. No, you really need to be drawing some... You don't have a Scream Tail right now. Scream Tail's the only thing that's going to reach the KO Gardevoir Reacts, and you don't have a Scream Tail. 
We are playing a Sui in heavy ball, but that's not really going to do very much good, is it? No, Henry's just asking if he can shuffle or not. He's just going to leave it <laughs> shuffle. Oh, can find a roll, so okay. I, that route is not going to be long enough to evolve, Joe. Noah's winning next turn. <laughs> well, you'd hope so. Let's see if Henry can find a random position that makes it possible to not, because I don't think Henry can win this turn based on the hand. I'm not seeing a way forward. It's so awkward. What you really want to do is get a scream tail, attach the cape, boss the guardy, attach a whole bunch of energy with your own EX, get the big KO, and then you win the first game and you're good. Noah's got one prize remaining for next turn. You've got Guard of War EX, which is out with a whole bunch of energy on. I suppose you have to leave the... Oh! What have you seen? Well, I'm just thinking the Guard of War EX has got a high amount of hit points. Noah's bench locked and can't get a screen tail. So maybe Henry can just tank a turn with Gardevoir. And then you're just hoping on one top deck. I guess if you bench Rolts, you have a few additional top decks to get you back towards ending the game, Ross. I mean, I'm not saying it's a great plan, Joe, but I'm saying it'll buy him one extra it turn. It could do, and I think Henry's looking for the discard pile for exactly these lines of play now. But then you surely you need your own scream tail, and if you bench uh, Routes, you lock yourself. So is there an argument yeah. for playing Professor Turo to pick up one of your cards? Yeah, you could Turo this turn pick up a monkey dory perhaps just a bench rolls and then next turn you've still got your supporter available Look for boss these, what's available in the deck Chrysalia. there is the art as an option Cresselia's there that can't get high enough damage of course nope miles away there's another rolls i believe still in the uh, in the deck Chris, see, the thing is Cresselia could take a prize this turn with moonglow reverse but then yeah, oh yeah, no, it's down to one price. <laughs> then main. you lose. It would, oh, it would get KO'd back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I was leading up to, but you definitely can't yes. do that. <laughs> yeah. it's not a, you, I think you have to end your turn with Guard of War EX in the active. And you think we're just passing and not taking a prize? It's vulnerable to another Iron O, but your hand just isn't there, and you're hoping that your top decks are literally just energy here. The problem is. Are we going to Adrenaline Rain pass? Is that the best play for Henry? If you take a prize, then you open up Scream Tail. Yes. And you've got to leave your Gardevoir in the active. So if you leave anything else in the active, it gets KO'd by your opponent's Gardevoir. So you've got to end the turn with Gardevoir active. And if you take a prize, you open up the possibility of Screamtail, which can just KO Gardevoir with enough damage on. I think that means we, yeah, we'll just churro a bench Pokemon for Henry to fix this bench. Yeah. Yeah, pick up Manaphy, put down Rolts, because it gives you additional draws here to close the game on a following turn. But you'd still need to top deck. Is Henry going to announce pass or attack here with Miracle Force? I think you've got to pass here. Is thinking about using Luxurious Cape on a Monkey Dory here? Wow. That stops a screen tail wombo combo later down the line. Yeah, going to give some additional hit points to Monkey Dory. And it is the pass, Ross. You can't pick up the Manaphy and then pass because <laughs> Scream, Screamtail would have an absolute field day at that. So, and then KO. Yes. Screamtail yeah. would have an absolute field day. So here comes the Darkness Energy on the Monkey Dory. We're going to be able to move some damage over. Yeah, this is getting really all about the monkey maths at this point, Ross. Undoing the Adrenal Brain that Henry did last turn. And it's just going to be a mind bend here, I think, from Noah. I like this because it also puts confusion on, makes Gardevoir a pretty bad attacker. Yeah, let's turn that Gardevoir <laughs> upside down. We don't see confusion very much on these dreams. Top deck with Psychic there. Ross. Can we push there? There's the we, darkness energy now. The is that going to help us get Dory. there? We can use double Monkey Dory. We can rod and recycle with Artisan. Can Hexhill get us over the line here? Yeah, we might be able to hex hell for win here with double Adrenobrain on a Manaphy. Yep. We could then hex hell that last two damage counters to take a two prize turn here, knocking out the Monkey Dory and the Manaphy. There it is. Boss's orders, boss's orders, orders as well. Curly at work that as does as well. it. And you can actually take out both Curly here if you want to, just for the fun of it. But double Monkey Dory takes out the Manaphy along with the hex hell. Amazing. And Henry wins a thrilling game one. I like God. Indicates Noah does prefer to have the option of TM Evolution on that first turn. And if we want to win quickly here, we've got to start evolving up our Pokemon quickly. And was it a found Rolts from the prize cards? Looks like it from the Hisuian. Hisuian yeah. Heavy Ball went and got that Rolts straight down onto the bench. Yep, and we're going to shuffle up those prizes now. And uh, we'll see what else is there. But it looks pretty handy here. Not sure what else is in the hand for Henry, but at least you start off with one Rolts.
And there's also Buddy Buddy Poffin and Nespel. Okay, so this is a really strong yeah, opener for this Henry. This is a nice start. Get your routes on. And that's the thing, if you have one routes prize, that can actually be a really fun thing because they're doing heavy ball, just kind of turns into a nest ball at that point, gets you a really good target. And this is nice. Free routes and a monkey dory with a darkness energy. And I love this. Henry won game one doesn't actually need to go fast and yet still playing fast i think that shows a lot of respect for your opponent when you're going you know what i'm not gonna i'm gonna go nice and fast here i want to get as much of a game here as we can get even though really to my best interest to just not speed up what a great opener here for henry even getting the monkey dory early you can do so much intricate math as we've seen already in this game noah has a big concealed cards here it's not helpful he literally just said, uh-oh, <laughs> <laughs> on the mics. Oh, one of my favorite oh, things about no, this tournament. No oh, Ross. that is terrible. Ross, what's happening? Attachment, to, no curlier. No, sorry, no curlier, of course, no curlier. No routes, no, you can't, you can't evolution because there's nothing to evolve. And now we're kind of in a, a complete, well, kind of like game one, but switched around and way more impactful because Henry's got one curlier with more coming. There's a TM evolution it, and the hyper aroma. <laughs> and Noah no. just concedes and Henry takes the game to match <laughs> two games to zero. 